hey guys welcome to another video thanks for joining me in this one so this video is going to be talking about the eaa scholarship that just opened today ea stands for experimental aircraft association for this scholarship that is open it closes sometime in march and i believe awards will be in may now one of the things that you need to consider before applying for the scholarship is to know of course the requirements and what you need to do the essay you have to write and last but not least is to think about who is going to give you the letter of recommendation that is required. Now, we know that flight training can be expensive, but you also have to understand that scholarships can sometimes be down to a bit of luck, all right? Uh, finding the right person, saying the right things, and all these factors can make scholarships quite difficult. And that's why you should always put yourself out there. I mean, apply for the scholarships, try your luck on if you don't get it the first time you try again if you don't get it the next time you try again and honestly that's really the game about scholarships there's no certainties there's no guarantees now there of course there are recommendations that i will give you in this video that would help you so if you're new here welcome if you're a returning subscriber thanks for joining again i hope that you guys will find value in this one and if you do please don't forget to drop a like don't forget to of course leave your comments in the comment section below and uh let me know what you think about these opportunities I'll try to bring this to you guys so that you guys can hopefully benefit from it and use it for your own advancement. Um, I'll be honest, I haven't applied to any of the scholarships before because I didn't, well, the only scholarship I used was in flight school. And this was more of an internal scholarship at the flight school. So um, it wasn't something I have to apply for through an organization. However, I do have I've met a few people that have applied to these scholarships and I've gotten some feedback from them and I'm trying to share all of this with you guys through this platform. So let's get into it. Um, so the scholarship is open. It opened today and it closes on the uh, sometime in, uh, where is it? I know I saw it somewhere. March 1st, 2024, 11.59 p.m. That's when it closes. Now, here are the, the the organizations providing the scholarships or the funds to EAA, and they are all mentioned there. The the EAA strives to provide scholarships that are that have a minimum of about five thousand dollars, and of course they mention the companies or the organizations that are providing the scholarships. Now, some of the things that I you should also be familiar with are the FAQ sections. They really did provide some information to. You all. So, for example, if you're an international student, can you apply for it? And yes, you can. If you are uh, currently enrolled in a program or not, can you apply for it? Yes, you can. And, you know, all those questions answered there. So, take a look at it. But I don't want to waste time on the requirements because, to be honest, you can always read that yourself. But here are the recommendations that I want to give you guys. The first thing I want to think about when you're applying for the scholarships, uh, of course, think about the requirements. Make sure that you meet the requirements. Next thing is, don't forget to fill out your form properly. Now, the application is online, which I can actually show to you right now. And that's it right there. You can, if I move myself out of the way, you can actually can do that. You can see, you can begin the application. So that is there for you to start. Of course, you have to create an account and all that. So before you apply, all right, one of the things I always say is, you know, gather all your necessary documents. Make sure that you have the supporting documents, your transcripts, uh your your certificate things like that if you have a if you have a certificate if you're in flight school maybe you should consider adding your logbook and the things you've done in aviation all right try to have those documents to prove that you are actively doing something whether you're in school whether you're about to start whether you have uh, you have your ratings already try to prove that you have those things now the next thing that i think i would mention is your letter of recommendations this requires that you have you have at least one person or reference so when you are when you finish the application you'll be required to send an email or at least a link to the person that will write you the letter of recommendation make sure that the person that is providing this letter of recommendation will say the best things about you all right so think about that person carefully and hopefully that person has enough information to say good things about you so don't just pick a random person make sure you pick someone that truly knows you knows your competencies, knows the things you're good at, knows your your values, the value you, you provide and how, how how valuable you are as a person. So pick that person. 
carefully. Now, let's talk about your essay. You'll be required to write an essay of maybe two or three. Remember, in those essays, first of all, simple things, make sure you check your spellings, make sure you're, you're well written, make sure you're organized and neat, and try to address a certain subject through each paragraph. Okay, so your intro, then the body itself, let each paragraph in the body itself tackle a certain aspect of maybe the things you're trying to say. Like if you're trying to tackle, uh, if you're trying to mention something about your values or your competencies, let each section kind of focus on that. That would help to just make it easy to digest and easy to read and follow along. Okay. Um, I haven't actually seen the questions that you're required to write because I haven't started the application, which I'm not going to do that. But the point here is make sure you, you know, if you need help, with, if you need somebody to look at it for you, try to get help so that you can at least make sure that you have a good essay written up. Now, in your essay and while you're talking about yourself, make sure you emphasize your passion. It's very important. Your motivation is very important. The reason why you're trying to apply for the scholarship, why you need it, why you think it would be very helpful to you and how it will impact your life or change your life significantly. The other thing you should always include in this essay is your extracurricular activities and uh, the things that you do, especially if it's related to aviation. If it's not related to aviation, that's fine, but still include it in there. But make sure these are things of value, not just things that, that uh, benefits just you. If possible, let it be things that also benefits the world or people around you or your community. Uh, the next thing is, what are your career goals? What are the things you're trying to achieve after you've completed your training or after you've achieved, after you've gone through this uh, rating that you're trying to complete? Make sure you try to put that in there, okay? Because that will show that you have a sense of direction and you have a plan for your life. So that's important. Don't forget the things like your educational achievements, don't forget your competencies don't forget your hobbies if they are of good uh, things right like if you have good hobbies or certain uh, things that you do that can show that you have a very strong um, desire or passion for aviation for example if you have if you are the type that likes to maybe build things up right that shows a certain competency about you it says a lot about you like that if you're the type that likes to maybe attend certain uh, aviation events make sure you mention that as well because that would show that you're truly interested in aviation now i don't want you guys to think that this has that there's like a holy grail process or whole, if that's the right word to use but the point is there's no perfect essay out there but your goal is to try to make it as perfect as possible, which means it's convincing. It's something that someone can read and understand exactly what you're saying. It says a lot about you and your interests and what you're trying to achieve. And hopefully it also emphasizes your competencies and the things, you, your skills that you possess. So that way that they can see that you're not just going to get this money and waste it, but you're actually going to get the money and hopefully help change your life. I wanted to share this with you guys. I wanted to make sure that you guys are aware that this scholarship is open. And remember, do not rush the process. Take your time. You can start the application. You can always save and come back to complete it because it doesn't close until March 1st. So you have plenty of time to go through this process. So I hope that you guys will take advantage of this opportunity. I just wanted to share that with you. Don't forget to drop a like. I'd love to see you in the next one.